I'm here at uh, Prairie and Burlington in uh, Brookfield, Illinois. But, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it might as well be called Memory Lane and Treasured Memories Avenue in Intervention Land because this is the location of the scene where Chelsea picks up uh, Henry from the train station. The train just pulled up. Um, pretty similar to about seven years and a couple months ago when we uh, when we were on location shooting here. This was uh, Phil's suggestion that we shoot here. Hey. Hey, what's up? Not much. Come on in. In this part here, we're in the car, we go, there he is, there he is. There he is, there he is, there he is. It's the end of the hour. And then they drive off and we follow him down the block. I love the scene where she uh, awkwardly hugs him. You're gonna, oh, you're gonna hug yeah. or something? Yeah. <laughs> right. awesome. How's it going? That sounds good. Buckle up. It really pretty much sums everything up. How uncomfortable they feel around each other, uh, how estranged they are, let's just say. It's really good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Yeah. Uh, we mounted a GoPro camera to her car. Uh, no one was in the car for those scenes. It was just Phil and it was just uh, Caitlin. You rolling? Well, don't touch it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Technical difficulties. They're gonna hate us when they watch yes. us back. Yes, they are. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. That's okay. Fine. it's good, it's good. That's it's good. fine. Okay. All right. It's really good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Yeah. The whole sequence felt very much like a, um, kind of like a spy thriller, like, or something akin to that, where it, it almost like didn't feel like the same genre because we have footage that we shot where that we're kind of hiding behind buildings. Like they, we created the illusion that there were more uh, members of the camera crew back when, uh, before we didn't realize, uh, we didn't realize at the time how many we wanted in the crew, so we gave this illusion that they were everywhere, and uh, it had this feeling like, uh, this paranoid feeling that I cut back uh, a little bit on. Hey. Did you notice that car? The blue one, is it? Are they following it? No. Point A was here at the station, they took off and we followed them, and we just kind of circled the blocks around for a while and they were driving around and you know they had some direction as to what how the conversation was going to go and then we did of course the the greg phone call for the fresh basil chelsea yeah a lot of people don't know this but uh uh i voice greg in that scene chelsea i was wondering if you could pick up some fresh basil on the way home some fresh basil um yeah yeah that should be fine we should be able to that is uh i swear that is not jeremy eden's voice I left that in. I was doing an impression because Jeremy wasn't there the day uh, that we needed him and I didn't loop him in. Uh, instead, I decided to do an impression of him. Stop and get some... They what gotta, is that? What is they that? They have to be fresh, fresh, not the free okay, no, dried no, leaves. They have to be fresh, in the, basil in the, leaves. And uh, th I guess it was similar enough because no one has called it out yet, but that is my voice in that scene. That is not Jeremy Eden. So that's just a little scoop there. You called Chelsea when she was picking up Henry and you asked for fresh basil. That wasn't me. You said this is great. Something else I wanted to point out is I'm shooting right now with the exact same camera uh, that I used in the movie. So I think that is pretty cool too. Yeah. And there's some banter between um, my character documentary number one and Kevin's documentary number two as we're driving around following Henry and Chelsea and uh, it's like that scene in Scarface. Yeah, where he's got the bomb. And I'm in range. He says, no kids. He says, no, no, no fucking kids, man! No fucking kids, man! Yeah. That's pretty good. And that guy from uh, from Breaking Bad in the wheelchair, he's, he's driving. He's like, Cállate. 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 You do it now, do it now, blow up the bomb. No fucking kids. He says, no fucking kids, man! He blows his fucking head off. <laughs> That's a good one. There's some funny stuff in there. It's just, I think it took away the focus from the scene where it, it's the reunion between Chelsea and Henry, ultimately, and uh, it was really important. And, uh, yeah, this is the place. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it would be uh, cool, a uh, little trip down memory lane, you know?